How to set up IKF2 on Linux, Ubuntu. For more in-depth instructions, please follow the rest of this tutorial. If you are a free user, please change write equals nl.hide.me to write equals free nl.hide.me. Pseudo S app get y install strong swan app get y install strong swan plugin eap mish app 2 app get y install libtron extra plugins app get y install lib strong swan extra plugins print f percent s backslash n backslash t con hide nl chi exchange equals i action equals cleared delay equals 300 s eap underscore identity equals username left off equals eap mish app 2 left equals percent default root left source seep equals percent config right equals nl dot hide dot me Right off equals pubkey right subnet equals 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, 0 right it equals percent any type equals tunnel hashtag hide nl auto equals add slash etc slash ipsec dot conf set is slash load equals yes slash load equals no slash g slash etc slash strong swan dot d slash karen slash constraints dot conf print f percent s username eap password slash etc slash ipsec dot secrets reamder slash etc slash ipsec dot d slash caserts LNS slash etc slash SSL slash cert slash etc slash IPsec dot D slash caserts. IPsec restart IPsec up hide NL installing strong swan and configuring hide dot me is as easy as copying the commands from this guide and changing some settings to suit your needs. Pseudo S app get update app get y install strong swan app get y install strong swan plugin EAP mish app 2 app get y install libtron extra plugins app get y install lib strong swan extra plugins this will result in installing the packages required for strong swan to function properly. Please note that some of this packages might return e unable to locate package. That is normal as not all Debian-based distributions keep the EAP mish app 2 in the same package, and most common are listed here. Using the following command, you will replace default configuration file and write required settings. Please replace username with your username and write equal server address with your favorite hide.me server, i.e. nl.hide.me. You can also change auto equals add to auto equals start, if you want to start that particular connection at system start. If you would like to learn more about the settings we're writing in configuration file, you can check out this page. Pseudo print f percent s backslash n backslash t con hide nl chi exchange equals i action equals cleared delay equals 300 s eap underscore identity equals username left off equals eap mish app 2 left equals percent default root left source seep equals percent config right equals nl dot hide dot me right off equals pubkey right subnet equals 0.0.0.0 slash 0 right it equals percent any type equals tunnel hashtag hide nl auto equals add slash etc slash ipsec dot conf asterisk free users should change right equals nl dot hide dot me to right equals free nl dot hide dot me Asterisk you can create additional connections, for example, in the previous code you need to change con hide us one right equals us one dot hide dot me and be sure to put two before slash etc slash ipsec dot com. Instead of one, hashtag hide nl is just a comment designating server for easier search later starting with strong swan 4.5.0 the default value ike is a synonym for ikef2, whereas in older strong swan releases ikef1 was assumed. Since 5.0.0 both ikef1 and ikef2 are handled by Karen and connections marked with ike will use ikef2 when initiating, but accept any protocol version when responding. You will end up with a config file that looks like this, asterisk please note the indentation of configuration parameters, as it is very important. Conhide nl chi exchange equals i action equals cleared delay equals 300 s eap underscore identity equals username left off equals eap mish app 2 left equals percent default root left source seep equals percent config right equals nl dot hide dot me. Right off equals pubkey right subnet equals 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, 0 right it equals percent any type equals tunnel hashtag hide nl auto equals add you will also need to disable the constraints plugin pseudo set is slash load equals yes slash load equals no slash g slash etc slash strong swan dot d slash karen slash constraints dot conf. Now you need to write your credentials into slash etc slash ipsec dot secrets. You do this by typing, or copying, the following command, while changing username and password, pseudo print f percent s username, eap password slash etc slash ipsec dot secrets. Hide VPN servers identify themselves using certificates. StrongSwan needs to verify Hide.me certificate and in order to do so it searches its certificate store. Fortunately, its certificate store can easily be linked to the system's open SSL certificate store. To do so, execute the following two commands, pseudo reamder slash etc slash ipsec dot d slash caserts. pseudo lns slash etc slash ssl slash cert slash etc slash ipsec dot d slash caserts. You need to restart StrongSwan daemon so it reads new settings. pseudo ipsec restart to start the connection just type, pseudo ipsec up hide nl to disconnect, type, pseudo ipsec down hide nl you can always check the status of your connection by typing, pseudo ipsec status if you get establishing connection hide nl failed first thing to check if is you've written your credentials right in slash etc slash ipsec dot secrets. Also, make sure that you've opened the ports ipsec uses on your firewall, udp 500 and udp 4500. That means if you have a router with a firewall in front of the device you're trying to connect to hide.me vpn, you need to create port forwarding rules for those ports. Optional, if you want to start the VPN connection automatically on startup, please follow the step. Since StrongSwan starts automatically with system boot, all you need to do is tell the service to start the connection while when it starts. You will do that by simply typing, sudo set i slash hashtag hide nl slash n, s slash auto equals add slash auto equals start slash g slash etc slash ipsec dot conf. If, by any chance, 
The strong swan service doesn't start with system boot, to set it up to start, just type, sudo systemplenable strong swan dot service. If you want to disable automatic start of service, type, sudo systempl disable strong swan dot service. If you want to disable automatic start of the connection on service start, type, sudo set i slash hashtag hide nl slash n, s slash auto equals start slash auto equals add slash g slash etc slash ipsec dot conf.